Know where the Liebenau family of Hollywood is going? Vacation. That wonderful American institution of going new places and doing new things. The vacation baggage is all packed and the family car is in tip-top shape, all checked and ready to go places. The Bunnells consider themselves experts on how to go places in the family car. Part of the job of being an expert is knowing how to get ready to go. Last vacation, this expert left the lawn sprinklers running. This expert forgot to leave a note for the milkman. So this year, the experts have a checklist. The checklist makes it easy to know what to take. Of course, it also makes it easy to know what not to take. With the family baggage all together, on display, anyone can do a good job of packing. A neat trick? When the things you'll want first are the last to be packed, they'll be easier to find. And here's a tip. One bag holding toilet articles, pajamas, and a change of light clothing for the entire family can save a lot of unpacking and repacking. Lee takes an expert's pride in keeping the passenger spaces clear and unobstructed. But even so, blocking that door on the traffic side is a good safety precaution if you're traveling with children. There's a small cushion or two for sleepy heads, and to help stretch distances between stops, a jug of water, some cookies and dried fruit for between meal snacks without mess and bother. Last item on the Bonnell's checklist, and a good idea for everyone, a spare key for the car safely tucked away in a magnetic container for emergencies. Yes, when it comes to getting ready to go, a real expert seems to think of everything. Philip, are you sure you stamped the lock on the front door when you closed it? Yes, sir, Dad. It's locked. Uh-oh, I just remembered something. My purse. Where is it? It's on the dining room table. Okay, give me the keys. I'll go get it. I hate to tell you this, but that's where all the house keys are. In my purse. Oh. The open road at last, ready to go places. Thanks to three small boys with hidden talent for burglary, only half an hour behind schedule. And who cares about schedules when they're vacation bound? Apparently, Pop does. But stepping on it is not the expert way to make up for lost time. The faster he goes, the fewer the miles on a tank full of gas. Much of the time he thinks he is saving by extra speed may actually be spent in extra refueling stops. Speed is expensive. For the average car, driving costs increase rapidly as driving speeds go up. So take it easy, Pop. That's right. You'll get there more economically, more safely, and probably just as soon if you drive at an efficient rate. Traveling at a steady, reasonable speed will let you cover more miles in a day, relaxed and comfortable. Experts uh, make time by watching for ways to avoid business traffic in cities and towns. They plan their trips to avoid rush hour traffic at morning, noon and evening in large cities on their route. Here's a time saver that works two ways. Whenever possible, combine all your requirements for service, such as gasoline, regular checks of oil, tires and cooling system, in a single stop. Then you'll find you have plenty of time to get refreshment, exercise, and local information on highway conditions. Knowing how to get where you are going is one of the most important ways of saving time. But remember, it's so easy to get poor advice from people you just uh, happen to meet along the road. Yep, uh, down uh, that away. Leastwise, uh, he thinks so. Hey, wait, uh, t'other way, t'other way. Oh, well.
confused. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm sleepy. And I'm positive that old coot told us this was the shortcut to the main highway. There's something written on that sign up there. I'll get out and see what it says. No matter where you think you are, you are lost. With a good map, highway navigation can be very simple. Next time you travel, try marking the route with two pencil lines and closing the highway. The arrows call attention to important information. Some travelers use the map to make an ingenious guide list of route numbers and key mileages. For a long trip, the list is broken into sections, each covering a map or a section of a map. When the guide list is handy to the steering wheel, you can check off the route changes as you make them. Then you'll always know where you are and what to look for to keep you on the road. A knowledge of direction often helps you get where you are going. Did you know that you can use your watch as a compass if the sun is shining? Point the hour hand directly at the sun. Midway between the hour hand and 12 o'clock is approximately south. That's all there is to it. However, you'll find it pays to have a compass if you do a great deal of traveling in open country. When you're going places, knowing how to get ready to go and how to get where you're going are important. But knowing how to relax and have fun while you're going is most important of all. A good driver becomes steadily more alert and more efficient during the first three or four hours behind the wheel. After four hours of driving, his efficiency usually begins to drop unless he knows how to relax. The safest and most relaxed grip on the steering wheel is with the hands in what the experts call the 10-20 position. You'll cover more miles and arrive feeling more refreshed with your back straight and your head up than if you slouch behind the wheel. An occasional change in the position of the driver's seat also helps you stay comfortable and alert. Cross-country travel can be a rewarding experience for the whole family, but there are times when young passengers need something besides scenery to keep them happy and occupied. Here is a game that's fun for all. How far is it to that mountain ahead? Each member of the family guesses, and the closest guess scores a point. Many familiar parlor games become more enjoyable because they're played in a parlor on wheels. Spelling games and guessing games and license plate games inspired by the passing scene. On any cross-country vacation trip, the real expert is the one who takes the time to discover America. East or west, north or south. The awe-inspiring wonders of the Grand Canyon of the Colorado. The spectacular beauty of Zion National Monument. Mighty Niagara. The sparkling waters of the Atlantic. The historic Southland. All these and a thousand more within your easy reach. Isn't America wonderful? And aren't vacationers wonderful too? We're the boys. We've come hundreds of miles to see all of this. Why aren't they out here to enjoy it? Oh, they're back in the car planning next summer's vacation. They're reading a book. Reading a book? Mm-hmm. I think the title is How to Go to the Moon. <laughs>